What happens if you connect a pressure tank to your ram pump that is either too big or too small? Let's find out. Here's the setup. I have a five gallon bucket with three feet of head pressure falling down through PVC pipe to the ram pump. I have a pressure gauge here that will allow us to determine what the pressure is. And I have three different size uh, pressure tanks here. This one is four inch pipe by 20 inches tall plus uh, what, f four inches or so extra, so a good size. Next we have the tank that I typically ship with these ram pumps, and that is a two inch pipe at 15 inches long. And lastly, we have this little test pipe that I used with the uh, 3 8 inch pump, so it's definitely a good bit smaller. I'm gonna connect these. First I'm gonna hook up the regular size tank and get a uh, readout. It should be around 25 PSI. Then we'll connect the small tank and see what that gives us and the big tank. I also want to determine how many times I have to push the check valve to get the pump to start because I think that's going to be a factor with the extra large pressure tank. So let me get this on here nice and tight. Okay, I'm going to open up the drive pipe. And I'm going to count how many times it takes before this pump will start. One, two, three, four, five, Okay, I'm going to let this go for two minutes now. Oop, not quite there. Okay, it's been exactly two minutes. I'm going to shut off the drive pipe. Now my gauge is a little bit clouded over, but see if I can get a reading in here. I'm seeing uh, 29 to 30, looks like 30 PSI, which is really great. So took, uh, let's say six hits for starting it, 30 PSI is our mid-range here with the pressure tank that ships with the half-inch pump here. Okay, round two with a smaller pressure tank. Get this filled up here. All right, let's we'll see how many times it takes this to start. One, two, three, four. So it took uh, basically two times less to get this started. Let's see what it takes, uh, what pressure we get in two minutes. Well, that was shocking. Check out the, uh, the pop on this thing. You may not be able to see it, but it's been two minutes and our pressure, surprisingly, is uh, 41 PSI. That's even higher than with the uh, other tank there. Incredible. Okay, well that's different than I was expecting. Now let's install the other pipe here and see what happens with it. Now for the last size, the giant size, my prediction is it's going to take a lot more clicks for this to build up pressure and it's actually going to be even less than the previous two because it won't be able to build up pressure in only two minutes. Let's find out. All right, it took 26 tries to get that going, and it's not quite there. Okay, we'll call it 28. Let me go ahead and start the timer. Okay, just stopped it at two minutes. Let's see what the pressure is down here. I'm getting 10 PSI. So, very interesting. Let me see how long it takes to get up to 20 PSI here. I gave the pump two more minutes and it has finally gotten up to about 16 PSI. What happened here? This tiny pressure tank only took four hits of the check valve. This one took six and that one took like 28 clicks. So it took a lot longer for this big tank to build a pressure great enough for the pump to operate, whereas this one almost started immediately. 
at uh, four clicks. This one hit 40 PSI. This one, after four and a half minutes, only got up to like 16 PSI. So what I think is happening, this one has such a small volume, it's able to hit that pressure quick. Whereas this one would eventually hit that 40 PSI. It's just gonna take a long time. So I like to ship this size right here in my boxes. It matches the size of the pump and it will uh, start quick enough. It also reaches that PSI. It just takes a little longer. Um, and as you can see, that's not that big of a difference there. So when people ask the question, does the pressure tank size matter? If it's too big, it's gonna take forever to prime and to build up the pressure that you want. And if the tank is too small, yes, it does prime quick and builds pressure, but there's also not a lot of volume in here to keep the pump going when you release that valve, the uh, delivery pipe valve. So you want a pressure tank that is gonna be in the middle, big enough to allow you to open the delivery pipe and let some of the water out. Like for instance, if you had a hill, let's say only 20 feet high and you open that delivery ball valve, that water is gonna be sucked out pretty quick and it may stop the pump if it's too small. Whereas if it's too big, sure it's going to suck a little bit of the water out, but it's still going to be working. So I would err on the side of too big versus too small. And if you can, right in the middle is a good size. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have some suggestions on future Ram Pump video tests, write those in the comments below. And if you're in the market for a Ram Pump, I have three different sizes available at landhouse.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.